Hi there, crafty peeps. Enos here from Paper Crafting with Enos, and I'm on today with a Timu haul. And you're going to have to excuse the kitty tail. <laughs> Kiki is not feeling particularly well today, so he's being very clingy. And to be honest with you, I can't get him away from me. He's just right here, and there's nothing I can do about it. He just needs some mama loving, I guess. But anyway, I am getting ready to go on a little vacation. And so what I'm doing is collecting a number of my Timu hauls that I have not posted videos on. I have separated them into categories and I am pre-recording a bunch of videos so that I can schedule them to post before I leave on my trip because I'll be getting ready then and during my trip and also after I get back while I kind of get myself back together again. The first of those videos is going to be the Parade of Beads. Uh, by no means are these all the beads that I've gotten, but it's a nice variety, and I thought that I would show these. And here is Mr. Kiki is right in my face. Come on, kitty. Come on. I know you're not feeling good, but go on over there. Go on. I'm sorry. He's just really not up to par today. So anyway, I am just going to quickly go through all of these beads. You've probably seen a number of them before. I know a lot of them are re repurchases from, for me. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to get through this video. <laughs> we're, we're trying really hard, so I'm going to go as fast as I can. So I did pick up a pack of these hashtag beads, and these are a new purchase for me. These are great for your dangles, and I think they're perfect to do with the little words that we put together with the letter beads. Great on bracelets and a variety of other little projects, so those are super duper fun. Then I picked up a couple of packs of these frosted flower beads, and I have purchased these before, but I was running low, so I got some more, and they're super cute with the little colors in the middle and the frosted outsides on them, so those are nice. I love those. Then um, this is a repurchase for me as well, and these are a pack of variety-sized and colored pearl beads, and I use these at the bottom of some of my larger beads when I'm doing the bead wrapping because sometimes the eye pins or the head pins fall, they go inside of the bead itself. And so if you put one of these on the end, it really helps to snug that bead up and make it so that you can use it on your project. And they're also good for making their own little dangles and on your beaded projects as well as little bracelets and necklaces. So I love these little pearls. Then I picked up this really cute pack. And I'm going to see if I can, I don't know if we can see these very well, but these are little mouse heads. Yeah, I think you can see them there. I'll give you a close up. And they have a colored bead in the center of the heads. They're super, super cute. And there's two, four, six, eight, ten came in a pack. So those are really cute. And this is a new buy for me. I've never bought these before, but I was inspired by the latest release from KS Craft and you know there's a lot of Mickey Mouse type stuff in there and so I thought these would be good to make with some projects for that. Then I picked up a couple packs of these little beads here and I did get and I, I'm trying to maneuver around Kiki so if I seem awkward that's why. <laughs> Let's see okay so in these packs you get the flower top, which is a little tulip, and then you get the leaf. And I picked up a pack of the purple and a pack of the pink. And I did wire wrap one of each so you can see what they look like when they're put together. Very, very pretty. So there they are. I think those are so adorable. So I will definitely be buying more of these when I start running low. Um, Let's see. Then I picked up... A couple packs of these because I use these a lot and these are I believe these are 10 millimeter and these are 8 millimeter and these are AB type beads very pretty shimmery in a variety of colors I love the pastel colors so those are really awesome and here I have a pack of 10 millimeter pink heart beads so you can see the little hearts on there and the holes on these run from side to side. I kind of wish they ran from top to bottom, but that's okay. They're still still quite usable. Love those. And then these are a repurchase for me as well. These are the little pumpkin pre-wire wrapped beads. 
They come in a variety of colors, and I think these are six millimeter. And they also are available in stars, in faceted beads, and heart beads. So you can get those in a variety of different styles. And I have some of each, but I've showed those in previous videos. And now here are my favorite beads. I love crackle beads. So here is a beautiful pack of the gorgeous 10 millimeter pastel beads. So, so pretty. I just love these. And then I picked up a pack of the six millimeter. So these are repurchases for me. And in the same vein with the crackle beads, we've got these really pretty heart crackle beads. And these, they, the holes run from top to bottom. You get pink and yellow, peach, blue, and I think there might be some clear in there as well. So those are really pretty, and these are a new buy for me. And then I needed to stock up on some more of my bead caps. So I picked up these large bead caps here. I'm trying to get one out. Okay, and this would fit a 12 millimeter or larger bead. These are really quite large. And then I've got the smaller ones, which will be your 8 to 10 millimeter. So you can see the difference there. And what I use these for are not only for my beads, but also for centers of flowers. So those are really fun. So what I do is I'll make my paper flower, I'll put this in the center, and then I'll put a little gem or a pearl in the middle of that. So those are really cool. And these are repurchased for me. And I also have in my stash the same similar ones. They're not the same style, but I have them in gold, rose gold, gunmetal, and silver. So I got these in a variety of colors. And then I picked up a couple of packs of these beading needles. Now, what I use the beading needles for is when I made the bracelets with the BB Craft and the Panda Hall. The beads that I got from them and I made the bracelets. So that's what I use these for. And I do did have some previously. When I made some other projects, I accidentally snapped the needles. So I just picked up some extras so I can have those on hand. And the last item I'm going to show you in this haul is a repurchase for me. And these are my favorite eye pins that I use for beading and wire wrapping. These are 50 millimeter long and that equals 2 inches. So I love the gold ones. These are a nice sturdy thick metal here and they work perfect. So anyway, that's what I've got for you today. Like I said, I am pre-recording a number of videos that will play... Oh, a week or so before I go on vacation and some while I'm on vacation and some after I get back. So you're going to see a number of Timu hauls. I think I'm going to have maybe a paper haul or two and a variety of other projects. And I, I might even be able to post a Fruity Patootie group swap package that's come in. So yeah, that's what I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed these. If you're interested in any of these products, um, like I said before, I am not an influencer. I paid for all of these items myself. But I can provide you with the links to each one. So if you're interested and you need that information, drop me a note in the comments below and I'll be happy to share that with you. In the meantime, I hope you have an awesome day and I'll catch you on the next crafty video. See you later, crafty peeps. Bye.